What up, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm going to complete the Anarchy Williams SBC as well as uh, the Ansu Fatty one. I've kind of held off on doing the Fatty one, but, you know, this Anarchy Williams looks so good, and obviously he gets the strong link that I thought, why not? Um, I have held off with SBCs, I've been pretty good with that, but I, I don't know, I'm addicted to SBC players, and it wasn't going to be long before I started doing them. Um... So yeah, most of the players I've got here are untradeables from two-player upgrades. I bought Florenzi, uh, the inform, for 14.5k because you do need an inform player. Uh, but the rest, as you can see, is first owner. Barcoke, who I bought for 8.5. So a grand total spent there of 22 plus, of course, the, uh, the untradeable value or the tradable value that I haven't sold these players for. Uh, what what do you call that? Like the, not the liquid value, the, uh, oh whatever. You know what I mean. The the value of untradeables and oh, I thought I had this one done, but apparently not because it looks as though I've sold some of the other players. Great. Right. So this is the squad that I'm gonna trade in for the other segment of Anarchy Williams. Again, most of this is first owner untradeable. In fact, the whole lot might be okay. He's tradable. Um. He's tradable to Muller and so is Gozins. But yeah, most of it's untradable. So we're going to get that for the 15k pack as well as, uh, of course, an Archie Williams. And then we've got the, the premium Electrum or the prime Electrum, whatever it was, for the other segment to open. So hopefully we can get something from that. But yeah, I think I'm going to pick the one with increased dribbling. Because I feel like that's more important, this FIFA. So let's have a look at the player pick. My days, the servers are so laggy. Right, I need to make sure I pick the right one. So, yeah, I'm going to pick the one with more dribbling. Um, he's got the same pace and same physical. So, yeah, we'll pick that one. And we'll probably put a chem style on him uh, to increase his pace and shooting. So, probably a hunter, actually. Um, and, yeah, that'll be the best of both worlds. So, we will complete that Ansu Fatty as well. But for now, we're just going to open the, the two packs we've got here, which are tradable, and hope that we can get something good. So, it's a 15k pack and a premium Electrum. So, not the best. They're kind of crucifying the pack rewards, really, um, for SBCs. They started doing that last year, and they've definitely continued the trend uh, for this year, which is just a little bit unfortunate, really. Right, we haven't got anything in there. Come on, I haven't had a walkout in God knows how long. Give me give me Harry Kane, rule breaker. You know, he's like two mil at the minute, almost. Come on, uh, no walkout, no board again. Like, again, I keep saying it, but until I get another insane day of pack luck, I'm going to keep mentioning it. We've literally had one mental day of pack luck, and other than that, it's been absolutely diabolical. All right, well, I have caved in and done the Ansu Fatty SBC. As you can see, this is what we're trading in for the cheapest one. I've already done the, the expensive ones. I've probably spent about 80k plus a bunch of untradables. Obviously, it's absolutely awful, the pack that you get there, mixed players pack. But an 83, an 85, and an 86. I, I didn't really want to do this SBC, but because he links um, with... Anarchy Williams and one of my mates did him and waxes lyrical about him so you know I thought why not again I like doing SBCs just because they're, they're cards that you can't get on the market so yeah he does look pretty good to be honest um, maybe a little bit weak but that pace shooting dribbling is really really good for this uh, this time on FIFA time on FIFA no the month of FIFA that it is which is currently October so we're going to open the packs that we got from that uh, 15k pack and I believe a prime mixed players pack and a mixed players pack. It's just, they really have shafted the rewards that you get for SBCs. It's a little bit annoying, but yeah, in terms of um, actual coins that that cost me, again, probably 80k, but we did use a, a few discard, uh, sorry, untradables like Testagen, for example, who is obviously a little bit more than... Uh, well, discard. He he's. Oh wow! Where's this guy selling? That can't actually be his price, surely. I'll list him for seven k and see if we sell him. But wow, if he's going for that, that's crazy. Um, has he already sold, or was that someone else? I need to check. How the hell is that player going for seven point four k? 
There isn't an SBC at the minute, is there? I don't think so. Oh, we got a board. Wow, unbelievable. Right, can we get Argentine? Uh, it's Higuain, isn't it? Yeah, it's Higuain. It's always Higuain. When you see an Argentinian board, so that's, what, 300 coins? That's it's banging. Uh, right, we'll just discard him. He's not going to go for anything. But anyway, the last pack. Here we go. 15k pack. Can we get something, please? A walkout, please. No. It's a board, though. It's a board. Come on. An expensive one. Oh, not Higuain again. Ugh. Oh, it's the other useless one. Fuck's sake. It's, um... Benega. Ugh. 83 raid. Well, that was, uh pretty shite in terms of rewards but hey ho we have fatty and uh, narky williams now so i'm gonna build a team and i'll be back all right so we have completed marquee matchups uh, this is just before the rule breakers promo does go into packs unlike what i usually do um oh glit god's sake that keeps happening unlike what i usually do i am actually being meticulous this time i'm not just bunging in anything just because it's in my squad i've went out and bought players I've also, as you can see, sold Neymar and Mbappe. That's purely because they are ph they're phenomenal players, but I want coins uh, to invest. I want to be making millions this year. Uh, I want to be playing the game, packing some good players, but also doing the trading side of it, which is stuff that I lack. Uh, obviously doing the objectives and everything as well. But yeah, look in your club, see if you've got any Turkish uh, silvers, because they are selling at the minute, as you can see. Two and a half K, 1,500, like, you know, I had four or five of them, so, yeah, I've listed those. Uh, I've, I've also invested, uh, as, you know, you probably have heard in this video, in uh, rare golds, and it's done that again. Why? I'm not pressing RT to bring that up. That's just irritating. Anyway, so let's go back into marquee matchups. I'm going to be doing this every time uh, on Thursday. I will meticulously show you the cheapest way of completing marquee matchups. So it's, you know, a little bit better than me just bunging in what's in my club. So for this one, I've went out and got Austrian uh, silvers because you do need a minimum of eight silvers and most of them are cheap. A couple of them are in my, my club, but I have went out and bought some of them. In fact, a lot of these are first owner. But here we go. I've bought this guy for 300 coins. Uh, we bought this guy for 300, this for 300. And the rest were in my club, but I've checked their price and they are roughly about 300, 400 coins. Then we've just chucked in uh, a bronze Turkish player as you need that. He, he's he's like 400, I think, as a goalkeeper. Yeah, there you go. Like 400 coins max. And then just whatever else was in the club to fill in the last spot. Uh, I'm not going to open the packs until, well... It'll still be in this video, probably, unless it's in uh, a 6 p.m. content drop. But yeah, I'm going to be opening them for rule breakers later. Uh, so this Southampton versus Everton. I've got my three Premier League players because you need a minimum of two. And then the rest of it, I've went for Bundesliga. Again, these cards are roughly about 500 coins a pop. Um, you can see 500, 550, a couple of them might be 400, 450, that sort of thing. But you're looking at five to five and a half K for that squad there. For a mixed players pack, that's the worst pack out of the lot, which is a bit annoying. Then we've got Dortmund versus Schalke. Again, fairly similar to the other one, except you need uh, three players maximum per league. So what I've gone and done, I've got uh, some La Liga players here. Uh, also League 1 players, again, between 450 and 600 coins a pop. This was the cheapest uh, La Liga centre-back, and considering the rating's only 65, a bronze in there is fine. The rest of them, you can see 500 coins. He was first owner, he was the Schalke player that I need. I realise he's rare, but the rare Schalke players are going for the same as the non-rare. So, you know, it, it's just pointless. If you've got any Schalke players, sell them. They're going for 1.5k. If you've got any Dortmund players, the same. They're about one and a half K and that gives you a 15 K pack, which is a little bit better than uh, the previous pack, which was mixed players, which is literally four bronze, silver, gold, and only one rare. Now for this one, you need uh, at least two La Liga players and you need a Barcelona player. Again, sell your Barcelona and your Real Madrid players. They are going for a little bit right now. Uh, not 10 K, but <laughs> as that guy was trying to price fix, but a couple of K. Uh, so yeah, again, he was the cheapest on the market at the minute. Um, the 700 coin silver centre back. Then we've got Emerson 550k, 
Uh, the goalkeeper was in my club. Turkish league, I've went for for the rest of the squad, uh, just you know to keep the price down. But he's a couple of hundred coins on the market. Uh, Six hundred and fifty for the centre back, but all the rest um, are literally four hundred and fifty, four hundred coins, five hundred for Falcao. Like again, with, with the Barca play, you're probably looking at six k for this team. It, it's really, really cheap for marquee matchups this week. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that maximum it cost me there is 20,000 coins. If you say that I've bought every single player, of course, somewhere in my club. But even if I went out and bought every single one, 20k, absolute max there. Um, and you also get a 25k pack, is it? Yeah. As well as a 15 and whatever the other packs were. So... Uh, I'll, I'll total the pack value actually that you do get from marquee matchups. So it's a maximum 20k spend if you're starting from scratch. If you do it meticulously, you get a 15k pack, a 25. Prime Electrum will say is half of a rare Electrum, which is 30k. So we'll say another 15k there. Uh, mixed players pack, pff, we'll say two, two and a half k for that pack. Uh, small prime mixed players will say is half of that. So you're looking at a seven and a half. 2k we'll just round that up 10k 15k 15k so that's 30 40 you're looking at about 65k pack value for 20k outlay it's not bad but of course it's what you get in the packs but even through discards you should easily make 20k there so i'll open them for the new rule rubric as promo and yeah if there's not another segment then catch you in the next episode Right, well, I've just got five two rare player packs. Uh, so we're going to open these. Hopefully, we can get some high rated cards to put in for the fatty SBC or rule breaker or, you know, an Mbappe, something like that. Something great would be insane, but these have been wank for me for God knows how long. So we get Aaron Ramsey there and an 80 rated Chinese centre forward. Don't think I've packed him yet. Hmm. He plays in the Chinese league. By the looks of it. Or was he Turkish? I didn't really see. Oh, we got a board. Wow. Unbelievable scenes here. Spanish, so it's shite. Oh, actually. Who was that? Was that Bernat? Oh, Grimaldo. 84. Again, not bad. Can chuck him into the fatty SBC. But yeah, what, what, what are we going to get? Are we going to get a walkout from these? Nope, no boards. Nice. Love it. I fucking love two rare player packs, me. 78. Yeah, that's, that's useful, just what you want. Got two more of these. Segment bruh. Oh, man. What is this? Danny Garcia. Great. Discard him. Oh, and the last one. Come on, surprise me. Give me a rule breaker. Something usable. Lorente would be brilliant. Nope. No, nope. we get a board though. It looks like an inform one, I think. Yeah, it's that fucking right wing, isn't it? It's, uh, Swedish right wing. Uh, well, is there another high rated in here? Nope. Right, squad battles reward should be out. Uh, I didn't really play too much. I think I might have got gold too. Yeah, I got gold two, which is um, a prime mixed players pack and a premium gold players pack, as well as 11,000 coins. We also have our pre-order packs, of course. So we'll go and open those. Uh, last week, uh, we finished Elite One and we got like one board from all of the packs. So yeah, I'm just going to open them in order. Why not? Obviously, rule breakers are in packs. Uh, an icon would be brilliant. Uh, walkout, you know, the usual shit. So anyhow, the first one is not a walkout, not a board. Got to love it. So it's probably ass. It is exactly what I said. Ass. Love it. Right. Um, Prime mix players pack. I probably should clear some uh, transfer space just in case i get a duplicate but the next pack is not a walkout not a board love it well squad battles was uh, not very good I, you can't expect too much for gold two of course but yeah right now we've got the pre-order packs these are the ones that i'm hoping you know might contain something pretty nice let's see so the first one is not a walkout not a board I've seen a pattern here to be honest Someone like Alfonso Davies would be nice. 
Gossans, I pack him all the time. Right, then we're just going to discard that. And then here we go with the final pack. Is it going to bless us or is it not? And it's not a walkout. It's not a board. Wow, we didn't even get a board. Fucking phenomenal. Regulon, he might go for something. I don't know. Let's have a look. Compare price. No. Wow. We do get a pack, though. Oh, it's a loan pack. Why? I didn't think you could get loan packs where it's all rare. Ah, so I'm going to open that. It's completely pointless. But yeah, uh, so yeah, the squad battles are all are a little bit disappointing. Not going to lie. And we get an informer Marvi. He actually might be useful for objectives. So I'm just going to store him in the club. Alright, so to end this uh, random episode off, I realise I've got so many clips and stuff that's over the last week, but that's because I was intending this to be a trading video, but that's going to be tomorrow. I have made about 200k thanks to investments, but yeah, this is the team that I rocked in foot champs. Um, I sold Pogba, I sold Neymar, Mbappe, you know, a lot of my expensive players, Bruno, Son, uh, they're not bad players, they're fantastic, I just wanted to hold them for trading with headliners but then the servers went down and yeah I didn't want to risk buying headliners because I didn't know what the prices were going to be the fluctuations um, because the market was down for six hours so I ended up uh, with this team a uh, nice cheap team really I got Martial just to fit in that right forward now I played a couple of squad battles games with Anarchy Williams but I, I swear I think only one or two of these are squad battles games so maybe you know five goals are squad battles but the rest of it is foot champs he is an animal i don't even think he like didn't score in a foot champs game even if i lost um fact he's quite good as well i quite liked him and this Lorente card i really want to get his um rule breakers but he's like 300k at the minute and i don't know if he's that much of an upgrade Again, I haven't played any games with this one because I've sold the other one uh, that I had played loads of games with. Just, uh, yeah, the Champions League one's probably a little bit more valuable at some point. You obviously will have seen in a different video me completing this McKeel. He's really good. I quite like him. Very strong. Um, medium, medium is a little bit, you know, weird, but I, I quite enjoy him. But this is the team that I did rock in foot champs and we have, as you'll be able to see here, oh, <laughs> those trading uh, things coming in clutch. Um, but yeah, that will be tomorrow's episode uh, for sure because I've got investments for next week as well for team two of Rule Breakers. So yeah, I wanna show those as well because hopefully they work. What am I doing? I'm not on SBC. I'm going on foot champs to show you what I f where I finished. Um, as you can see, well, when I show the leaderboard, I finished in gold two again, so one less win than uh, when I had, you know, one of the most ridiculous teams uh, you can get without icons. But yeah, I'm not necessarily not going to buy Mbappe, Neymar and all those back, but I don't know what I'm going to do with the team. I don't know if I am, if I want to get some icons. I want to be trading, I want to be making hundreds of thousands, millions of coins this year so I can go and get the Rude Hullets, the, the R9 Ronaldos, the whatever uh, special cards are released. So, you know, it, it's still a solid squad. And, you know, I've still got tradable Varane, Mendy, Kante uh, and Martial. So you're looking at just shy of a million in this team, even though a lot of it's untradable. That Mbappe is obviously on loan. Uh, Van Dijk and Alisson are untradable. But yeah, we, we've still got at least 700, 800k plus about another 400, 500k on the market still yet to sell. So we're in a good spot. We're well over 3 million coins if I decide to go liquid. Um, and yeah, I want to invest in headliners, team two, uh, rule breakers, team two. So we'll see. But that, that'll be tomorrow's video, what I'm investing there, what I'm going to try and invest when the team comes out as well. So anyhow, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already liked the video. And yeah, peace.